Ladies and gentlemen, today's story is not looking good at all. A man has lost his life at the Kutuka International Airport. The Ghana Airport Company has confirmed that yes, the situation is actually true. But then, a lady who was at the scene has also given an account on what happened during the incident. Reports are also saying a dead body was carried from the United States of America to Ghana on a passenger airline. The news surrounding this story are a lot. I have with me here the full details, the full story of this. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not. Remember this is a new channel and you need your subscriptions in order to grow. So kindly look down there, subscribe to the channel, put the post notification bell on in order not to miss any updates on the story. Let us go into the full story. So the Ghana Airport Company has confirmed this incident with a statement. Yes, they have stated that a man has actually lost his life at the Kutuka International Airport. They indicated that a man was traveling from the United States of America to Accra, Ghana. I have here with me the full statement from the Ghana Airport Company. Let us look into the statement on what they reported actually. So it's, it is titled, Incident Involving Passenger at Kutuka International Airport. And I read, Management of Ghana Airport Company Limited confirms that on Friday, June 17, 2022, a middle-aged male passenger arrived on board United Airlines at Kutuka International Airport from Dallas International Airport, Washington, at approximately 10.20 a.m. in the company of a relative. The passenger was reported to have complained of tiredness and had difficulty in breathing. She was subsequently offered a wheelchair by the ground handler. The passenger became unconscious at the arrival hall and received medical attention but was unresponsive. He was conveyed to the airport clinic for further attention and he subsequently passed on. In line with the protocols, the airport district police station was immediately informed. Ghana Airport Company Limited has commenced an investigation into the incident. Management extends its deepest condolences on to the bereaved family. <laughs> Always be our investigations. You know who Always be investigation is moving. And anyway, we will be following this story closely. Any information or any update that will come on it we will be given to you. Now, a lady who was who who says yes, who says she was at um, she was present at the situation and witnessed the death of the man. Has also given her account on what actually happened, and it somehow contradicts with what the Ghana Airports Company has released or has kept in their statement. She has kept her um, information, um, her account on Facebook, and let me read that on what the lady actually reported. So the lady said, I witnessed the last 10 minutes of a man's life at the arrival hall at Kutuka. No first aid kit, no defibrillator, no oxygen, no aid, no medical personnel. <laughs> this modern Ghana 2022, when there is an emergency, there will be no medical personnel. It's sad. The man was so easy and a friend helped him to sit and within 10 minutes just like that, he rolled his eyes and dropped dead. He, we kept yelling for help, medical assistance something and a nurse showed up with a medical bag full with paracetamol and plaster. <laughs> plaster and paracetamol. Hey, hmm. Let's move on. My heart is broken. Could he have been saved? Possibly if there was a proper first aid. We have the most expensive cars and houses in Ghana and no first aid kit to save a life. May his soul rest in peace. I pray Ghana Civil Aviation fix the problem. Life is so fragile. Oh. So that's what the lady kept on Facebook. Honestly, if what the lady is saying is true, I will be very, 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 very disappointed. A whole Kotoka International Airport. Look at what happened and look at how the situation was handled. Well, the Ghana Airports Company has reported something different. We do not know who to believe now, but they claim they will be doing an investigation. Let's wait for what will happen now. But for now, let me know what you think is actually true. Whether the account of the lady is true or what the Ghana Airports Company is saying is the truth. Thank you for being with me. If you have not still subscribed, kindly subscribe to the channel. It's a new channel. We will need your assistance to grow. Subscribe and put the post notification bell on in order not to miss any update. Thank you.